Born March 29, 1941, Jim Hansen is an American professor in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences at Columbia University. He is now known mostly for his research in climatology at the NASA Space Program. He started his studies in 1988, and then from there his research grew and he developed a greater interest for sharing his findings and spreading awareness. Hansen was the head of the Godard Institute for Space Studies for 32 years. What we show is that there is a connection to these extreme weather events that we've been seeing. In 2006, his studies were progressing due to the immense rise in temperature. As the director of the Godard Institute for Space Studies at NASA, he was in charge of reporting to the public and updating them on his findings. It was at this time that Hansen claimed the Bush administration was trying to prevent him from addressing the public. This occurred after he gave a speech on the reductions in emissions of greenhouse gases and how it's linked to global warming. The speech was given a month prior to this allegation. So I decided to give a public talk criticizing the lack of an appropriate energy policy. I gave the talk at the University of Iowa in 2004 and at the 2005 meeting of the American Geophysical Union. This led to calls from the White House to NASA headquarters, and I was told that I could not give any talks or speak with the media without prior explicit approval by NASA headquarters. Hansen said, they feel their job is to be the censor of information going out to the public, which was his whole basis for whistleblowing. The Bush administration did not want the public knowing what Hansen had found and told him that people had to proofread all of his material before he could present. The act of them trying to prohibit him from speaking is the unjust action he was blowing the whistle on. The Bush administration was clearly trying to hide information from the public, so what Hansen did was right. The people needed to know. Hansen making this claim sparked talk about the Bush administration and concerned a lot of people. Why didn't they want the public knowing what was going on? After blowing the whistle and informing the public, he dedicated himself to be a full-time climate change representative and activist. In 2013, he was arrested for protesting the Keystone XL pipeline. Our planet! Our future! Our planet! Our future! Our planet! Our future! Our future! Our planet! Our future! Our planet! Our future! Our planet! After Hansen left NASA, he became an advisor for the National Center of Science Education and has become the director of the Columbia University Earth Institute's Program on Climate Change, Awareness, and Solutions. He still remains a strong activist in the community today. We turn to the world-renowned climate scientist, Dr. James Hansen. He's been called the father of climate change awareness. In 1988, Hansen first warned about the dangers of climate change when he testified before Congress. At the time, he was NASA's top climate scientist. He would go on to become the nation's most influential climate scientist. Dr. James Hansen, welcome back to Democracy Now! His former career as a NASA climate scientist has allowed him to further his studies and promote climate awareness as we begin to see drastic environmental changes. Hansen said in an interview for Democracy Now! this past August that the rise in temperature is a main factor in the hurricanes we are seeing today. Even after blowing the whistle, Hansen continues to update the public on climate change through his website, www.columbia.edu slash Jim Hansen.